Whoa, what up, stream? How's it going? It's been a little bit. Um, yeah, it's been like a week or so. Uh, things were happening. I've been working on some stuff. Uh, my wife has a podcast now. Go check it out. It's called Cousin Wives. Yeah, I know about the name. Don't worry about it. It's fine. <laughs> they're cousins and they're wives. <laughs> they're the cousin wives. It's up on YouTube right now. You can find it. Just type cousin wives. I'm sure it's the first thing that pops up. Hopefully, if anything else comes up, um, uh, hmm, I don't know. Didn't actually check for that. <laughs> but yeah, go check that out. That's what I was working on. So now that's out into the world, and um, yeah, plans for more. We're working on it, but I figured, you know, I had a bit of a free point today to do some uh, streaming. I still have to do some other work, though. Uh, never ends, but, <laughs> you know, that's just how things go. Anyway, I have been playing Minecraft in the meantime, doing little things, little farm things. Um, but there is one thing I wanted to do today, which is basically finish everything I started. <laughs> Where I started a farm... And then halfway through, I realized I needed something else. So I started doing that other thing. And then halfway through that, I realized, oh, I need something else. So now <laughs> we need to finish the one thing to finish the other thing to finish the other thing. Don't know if I'll finish it today, but we will find out. Let's uh, pop in here. If you notice, some things are a little different now. Uh, Nani went through and sort of decorated the storage room. It looks nice. Um... I'm a little bit on the fence about the item frames. I think it's a good thing, but also it's like, I don't know, from a distance, I guess I can kind of tell what's in there, but also not perfectly. Some blocks just look the same. So I don't know, um, but it looks pretty good. It's fine, we got a little kitchen, probably never going to use it, you know, uh, <laughs> but let's see, there's still, is there anything down here? No. Illegal moonshining. Moonshining? That's what's going on down there. Pop this up one. Whoop. Oh, my my light. I did have it on max. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. We have a couple new residents around here. Um, also, the mod pack did update, and I think the boats are gone. What's the plan for today? Uh, more create stuff. I have been working on some farm stuff that I need to finish. But also, before I do that, I do kind of want to take a look around town. I know, like, some new stuff has popped up around here. I did, like, a little bit of a, a food farm. Um, plenty of toast to be taken for anyone. That's part of what I'm working on right now, is making that better toast. Have I seen your factory? I haven't seen it in, since the last time I went there. Also, where's my glider? I moved it. Because reasons. Because I was working on stuff. Oh, wait, I need my mana thingy. There we go. Let's check a look. I haven't actually been over here in a little bit. Whoop. A little bit laggy. I have a video pulled up on the side for uh, part of what I'm making. Food. Not that one, the other one? You have another one? No. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I haven't actually like left my my area in like a month or something. <laughs> you know, I haven't actually gone exploring since the last time we did exploring. Check map. Okay, well in a second. I want to check out what uh Vicky and Lance have been working on. I think this is part of what they've been working on. They've been like building up the uh, the town over here. This is, uh, looking kind of cool, actually. They really do all this in, like, a couple of days? Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow, they really... Wow, this is cool. Like, this was, like, nothing before. Actually, can I turn up the music a little bit? Oh, I didn't know... I don't even have music on. Well, that's probably why. Little... Tower? Parapet? What is that called? Is it a parapet? What's a parapet? I don't know, that's what I wanted to call it, but I'm not sure if that's correct. They are just like living over here. Probably close the doors, they don't have auto doors. Cool. <laughs> 
Lan's house. Oh. They took the treasure chests. I wonder how this would work. I wonder if you haven't harvested the things inside the chest, if... Oh, I guess they would just work as normal chests after that, because they are working. I don't know. Interesting. Do those chests normally have, like, you know, unique items for each person? So I'm just, like, wondering once you pick them up, would they still have the prizes inside? Probably not. I don't know. I have no idea, actually, <laughs> how that would work. A little bit of a village thing going on. They're trying to revive it. Something happened to the village. She just took one of these. What is that? Suspicious eye? Interesting. They into the human relocation business now. Kind of, yeah. The, uh, something happened. I don't know if monsters wiped out the village or if the mod updating a couple times, if it did something funky to the villagers and, like, wiped them out accidentally. I'm not sure. But, um, Church of the Old Gods. <laughs> but yeah, they all disappeared, so they've been trying to revitalize the uh, the village over here and get all the jobs working. Which is cool, because we could use them. You know, if they get all the jobs, one of each one in here, that'd be pretty neat. But I don't see any villagers. Got a couple of iron golems. They, they built a bunch. Interesting. Oh, there they are. They're all sleeping in their little cramped quarters. <laughs> this is an awful living space, but okay. Hopefully that's temporary. It's fine. The pillagers are southwest from there and they raid a lot. Oh, maybe it was them. Yeah, that's probably... Probably what happened. Welcome to the village. Okay, let me check out... What do you mean la... Oh! That one? The <laughs> Yoshi's Kingdom. Okay. There's that town over there. Dow he is. Dow he is. Oh, wait, you know what? I forgot. There we go. Pop in there just in case. Anyone wants to. They don't have to, but if they want to, I'll be in there. Ooh. Looks cool from up top, too. I like their little area. It's neat. We'll go check out this factory over here, I guess. It's just a big concrete slab. It's looking like Satisfactory over here, actually. <laughs> it's like my Blamazon that I did way back when. Uh, Steam Pump? Yeah, see, that's basically what I'll be doing later today is this. Um, kind of. Maybe a little bit of a different design. But basically this. Uh, I hear him. <laughs> He's gonna go on up here. Who knows? Howdy. <laughs> Cobblestone generator. How does this thing work? Oh, it just literally makes them. Interesting. Not that I need that. I have so much cobble. I literally don't need any more. And you've got a similar thing going on here with crushers. I like how we both have just different factories. <laughs> you've got one above water and mine's like below Is this the, oh, that's the end product. Oh, I see. So you just... Is this for crushing stuff? I guess. Why is it such a long... Oh, you're making a honey apple factory. Oh, I see. See, I'm making toast on jam factory right now. <laughs> I just don't have enough power. So I'm, uh... That's what I'm working on right now. I'm finally getting my steam engines working. I kind of put it off for a long time. I have the parts. I just never put it together because I didn't need to. But now I need to. I'm putting that together right now, basically. There'll be a lot of small compact machines. That's basically how these work. Just one machine into another. What the hell? <laughs> I just haven't put the steam engine together. Anything else new around here? I don't know. I think the moon is almost done. Check a look at that. Let's take a look. Eco and Mimi's moon base. That's why the long conveyors. Yeah, you're just gonna build like small machines around it. Makes sense, makes sense. I kind of do it 
like one at a time. I usually don't do the full conveyor system. Why is this floating? I feel like there used to be a table here that maybe disappeared from one of the mods. <laughs> I got a cute little moon house. Does this go into the moon? Kind of. Is there a basement? It's a cute little house. This just goes out? Interesting. Your factory name is not Kirkland. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't think mine has a name. Mordecai. Batman. <laughs> Red. Reliant. Oh my god, Reliant Robin. Oh my goodness, Red Robin. Batman Robin. <laughs> if you were reading- okay. <laughs> oh no. They did that for each other. You bunch of cute whatevers. <laughs> Hmm. Why are they just so cute together? <laughs> oh, they're doing something up there on the roof? That's interesting. It's like a smoke thing. It's like really coming together, huh? That's all they've been working on is that. Um, I guess I can take the elevator back. No, I think it's already down. Yeah, okay. I guess I can still if I really want to. I might as well. Come back down in here. I've got another little factory thing going on in here where it's making charcoal, which pipes into this, which then goes down below. Um, I mainly just did that because I wanted to use the electricity from up here because it's actually generating a, a good bit up here. And not so much down in the undersea part. Up here has electricity, down there it doesn't. Fast gamer, hi. Uh, bro, you can say, hey, what? The word in Spanish. Don't trust it. I've been tricked enough times <laughs> by a certain capitan. <laughs> There's no, no trust here. <laughs> can I go back down to the bottom of the sea? Nah, lol. <laughs> right? I know. I I can recognize. I can recognize certain uh, phrasings. <laughs> Down we go. I still like my clock a lot. I don't know if I showed off the inside. Since I updated it a little bit. Eh, it's just a bunch of uh, paintings in there. These ducks need to multiply again. Something happened to the ducks. I think they're all gone too. Alright, back down in here. Uh, let's see. So yeah, down in here. This is where that charcoal goes to. It gets packed down into blocks so I can use it for... Whatever. That's being piped all around for like my furnaces. And so here's what I'm working on currently. Uh, I've got this. I looked up some designs. Uh, so right now I'm going off of um, one by Batsy Von Fengies. It's not going to be exactly like theirs. Uh, I found this on YouTube. They seem to do a lot of create stuff on YouTube. It's pretty cool. But it's... um. Yeah, no, I like their design kind of most of all. I found, like, different designs, and all of them are, like, way too big and way too complicated. Which is fine, you know, if you have the resources. But it's just, they're just too expensive. And this one is, like, it seemed like I could kind of, um... Build it modularly. Or I could do, like, sections of it, and then just keep building it out. Sort of. Probably. Oop. The only thing is, at the moment, I need... Um, well, I need some other stuff. So that's one project, right? <laughs> so here's where we start getting into stuff. Um, so in here I've got my farms, 
my food farm. Well, this is, technically this is a slime farm, but this is my food farm. Uh, this is producing wheat, which goes into there, turns into dough, turns into bread, turns into toast. And so this is what's feeding in here. I got all my toast being made. Over here is going to be a strawberry farm, um, which I'm hoping works the same way as that. We're going to find out. Um, and then that will be turned into jam. And then the jam will be mixed in with the toast and then toast with jam, uh, which makes it much better. So that I figure is a fairly simple way of getting like a decent food or a lot of it. But also, um, I don't have enough power. Like this is like the last thing. <laughs> this is like max power here for everything else running. Like everything's running off of the same uh, water thing. What are they? Water wheels. <laughs> I have lava farm in entangle fluid tank if you need it. Maybe, but I might build one of one for myself too. There, I mean, I guess I could do the entangled thing. I don't know. I didn't actually even think of that, but I've already got sugar over here for uh, the other thing. I would, I figure like I might not even run it on lava. I'm gonna see if I can run it off of my tree farm first. I don't know. I don't like dealing with lava buckets. <laughs> it's not that hard. Well, I, also the thing that I am doing shouldn't make that too bad. Like that's why I like Batsy's uh, version of this, just because it does deal with the buckets too. Uh, but I need mechanical arms, and so that's the next part. So I need so to work on the jam. I need more power. To make the power, I need the mechanical arms. To make the mechanical arms, I need little gear things. I don't remember what they're called. Preci precise thingies. <laughs> so I need to make those precise gears or whatever they're called precision somethings right if this will uh there we go let's see so I need um mechanical arm so that needs a precision mechanism your precision gears in your chest if you want them yeah right <laughs> I pretty much just need one for now. I need to set this up. I just haven't yet. You know? Old plate gets a, a bookunk, a bookunk, and a bookunk. Like, why can't I just, like, make it? Why can't they just set it? Can I actually? Can you actually? I didn't even think. Can you just, like, do it? Do you need a deployer, or can I just, like, do it? Maybe not. Maybe do you need a deployer? I don't know. <laughs> um, where's all my stuff? So what up? I've got one here. <laughs> Completing quests that I should have completed forever ago. Um here here what else what else Pedro are you here I do not hear you if you're talking uh <laughs> I see him but I don't hear him odd they were messing with some mic settings the other day for the podcast so i wonder if that did something where are all my depots i had like a bunch am i blind i mean yes but where oh they're there <laughs> i knew it i am let me see can i just like boom oh well That doesn't work. Okay, so I do need to make a deployer. So I don't actually need a conveyor belt to do it, do I? I just have to boop, boop, boop. Uh, or just insert them. I guess I can just do it manually with one deployer and a depot for now until I make like a little precision whatever the heck. Oh, jeez. Thank you. 
That'll help a lot. So, okay, let me just at least get my power set up then. So that helps a lot. Um, oops. Here. Oh. Whee! Okay, so then I can do this. Brass casing, three brass sheets, and andesite. Easy. Easy. What is he doing? Oh, he's eating. <laughs> Send him up on his way. <laughs> uh, do I have any more brass casings in here? I do. Okay. I've got some of this. Didn't want to squeeze you. Oh, no, I was fine. <laughs> it would have kicked me off. I don't think... I think we tried to, like, squash someone in that before. It didn't work. There it is. These chests are a mess, too. I don't know where anything is. So it was something like that, that, and that. Yes. Nice. Perfect. Okay. So now then, how is this going to go? I think what I need to do, put some stone down. Why am I trying to do it from memory when I have it right here? Again, following mostly Batsy's version. Okay, wait, no, I have it wrong. It's one more over. Yeah, okay, so the... Um, it is, yeah. I put it like that. Oops. Forget to... Fill this up. Okay, so boop, boop, boop. And then I might need to clear this out a little bit. Um, This might be too low. I'll figure that out in a second. Because I think she has the pipes on the other side. I don't know if I can do that, though. Because I put the wall... Well, she does that because I think she does a, a row of them and then has the lava farm in the back. I guess I could spin this whole thing and put it, like, in the center of the room. I might do that still, actually. Yeah, let's just do that. Because I kind of wanted to reorient this anyway. I made a bunch of this stuff the other day. Like, I used up a bunch of resources. Do I need anything for steam engine? I think I'm good. I think I'm good now. I made most of the stuff the other day for it. I just didn't have the, um, the arm. I don't even know if I, if you can hear me while I'm talking on stream, but <laughs> just talking. Okay, so I think what I'll do, I built this room because I was watching another tutorial that I thought was good at first, where it was like, you want a blaze to power it? I can hear it. Okay. Um... Do I need a blaze to power it? I'm pretty sure I... Well, I have all the burners. I have a bunch. I, I made a... I followed a, t a tutorial, or was starting to, where I was, like, on YouTube and said, like, oh, make, generates a million stress units. I'm like, okay, fine, I'll do that, because why not? I've got a ton of resources. So I started to build the stuff and then realized that it was more expensive than I thought midway through, so I made a bunch of stuff. I made, like, 80 burners and, like, 300 boilers or something like that. And I was like... Yeah, that burned through most of my resources, and then, yeah, once I realized how expensive the actual steam engines were, I'm like, well, that was kind of a mistake. So, <laughs> it's fine. I, But that's why I like this Batsy one, because I think I can use all those eventually. Um, let's see, I think I will do it. I want to kind of line it up with the windows, so that you can kind of see it as you're, like, down here. So I think what I'll do... I'll position it maybe here. And then I'll put this here. So I think I'll make it go that way into the wall, right? So that gives me plenty of room on both sides to do kind of whatever. 
Um, though my stairs are there, so maybe if I position it this way and have the lava thing on that side, if I do that, I'm not sure if I'm going to make the lava generator, but I guess I can have fuel on that side regardless because then there's a thing there. Mm, yeah, let's do it this way. Let's do it like that. That should be fine. Probably. Do I have enough room on this side? I hope. <laughs> I didn't really, uh... I don't know, should I do it one more back? Maybe I'll do it one more back. How did you get the Oh, it, I'm behind my uh, elevator. There's like a hole in the wall behind the elevator. Technically, there's stairs next to it. One will power it more than what you got. Yeah, well... This will be fine. Like, I, I, I got this. Blaze burn. I mean, I've got them right here. I've got like 90 of them. Do you have to power them? Give it wood? Yeah. Well, I'm not going to give it yet, but... Because <laughs> I'm, like, still working on this. Um... Find target. How do you assign target? Uh... Select belts to pose in the box. Right time while holding them... Oh, in my hand. Oh, I see. You can see the unit of burn. Um, hang on. Where's my... Thing? I haven't actually tried with the, um... Why can't I see it? Do I not have my goggles on anymore? No, I do. I don't know why I can't see the... Doesn't it tell you? Or maybe it doesn't. I don't know. I think it's just based on the head. But I think that's plenty. I think that's enough. It'll be fine. Oh, interesting. Has to be on. Oh, yeah, the steam engine says. Yeah, it's fine. I've got like nine of them here. I'm just. Uh, there we go. Deposit two. Lands is here. Okay, so then. Oops. Oh, do you actually have to like power it with something first? know how how do this work um or do you have to like actually put a blaze in it no oh, well, that wouldn't make any sense how do you actually turn the thing on <laughs> i don't actually know how you turn these on i was like oh you just give it power maybe you don't um oh you actually have to like light them okay got it thank you that would make sense, wouldn't it? Do I have? Okay, I have to go up top. <laughs> I don't think I carry one. Um, for now, let me build the rest of this. So... What's for decoration only? The blaze? Let's go up. Hmm. So if I need to, well, it's fine. Oh wait, no, I have to click on the belt too, don't I? Where it takes it from. Flint. I know I had one in here somewhere. There we go. I knew, I knew I had one. Evelyn! Oh, I'm sure it will, but again, I'm following like another little guide that someone built because I like, I like how they set it up. It's, it's modular and it'll produce a lot of power, but the way they have it set up is it burns a lot. <laughs> I've got plenty of fuel, so it's not a big deal. Because ideally, I never have to worry about this again. Oh, I see. Oh, wait, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> that's not... Um... How do you make them turn on? Um... 
Mysterious conversion. How do you make it become on? Uh huh. Oh, wait, there we go. Oh, you actually have to go capture them. Oh, I got it. Okay. Ah. Understood. Okay, I will go to my blaze farm. I didn't realize I actually had to put a blaze inside the thing. I mean, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> I was wondering how that would work. Uh, I have a pseudo blaze farm. I never got it fully working, but I do have a spawner. <laughs> or I had... I have an area where they spawn. I was working on a blaze farm. The idea that I had didn't quite work for some reason. I think one of the mods wasn't doing its job. But, um... Yeah, so I need to take a look at that again. Hey, maybe it's working now. I, I haven't checked it since we updated a couple times, so... Maybe the spikes work now. Been dying to get blazes? Well, I have a couple. Or I have an area, anyway. Somewhere in here. It's been a while since I've been here, so I kind of forget exactly how to get there. I know it's, like, just right in here somewhere. Could be... Um... Why am I just getting that now? <laughs> Uh, where is it? I think it's down... Somewhere. <laughs> I don't remember where they are. Um, I know I built it into a wall. Oh, I think it's here? No? Is it there? Oh, that might be it. Or not? Yo, stream, do you remember where I built this thing? <laughs> Where did I build this thing? It's somewhere in here. Um, I think it might be down. Where? Oh, where? I know it was like around trees. It was in a wall around trees. I really, I should have put like a, a waypoint on the map. I forget where I built. Where did I build this thing? I know it's not that far. Hmm. <laughs> where it go? I think it was straight ahead. Maybe I just turned too early. Was it just straight ahead? Uh, oh, maybe. Maybe it's just like down these stairs. Oh, yeah, there we go. Right? I think. Yeah, here it is. Okay, yeah. That's right. I, I like, sealed it up. <laughs> it is still spinning. Still doesn't have anything, though. Oh, that's right. There's my spike wall. Um. How did I actually, like, get in here? I think I did from the side, maybe? Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, okay, here we go. Actually, yeah, no, th this wouldn't work because no one's standing here, huh? I need to- oh, I need to redo this. I'm gonna put a door here. <laughs> some other time. Uh, I will take a look at that again at some point. I, I mean, I guess I can just... I don't know. <sighs> okay, let's just leave. <laughs> let's just get out of here. I got my blazes. I'm good. I will need blaze rods again in the future, so I will come back. And then maybe actually finish that farm. Figure it out. But yeah, it's just straight ahead. Get directly from the spawner. Yeah, I saw that when I was 
when I looked up the little thingy. I like the little help things in the create mod. It's really nice. It just tells you how things work. I need to transfer a bunch of materials too. I did a bunch of quarrying last night. Which I find funny that I built a giant like quarry. <laughs> like an automatic quarry. And I don't even use it anymore. Just because like I don't I don't know. It it didn't end up being like as efficient as I uh wanted it to be. Like it was more it was better for me to just, you know, drill. <laughs> I got so much stuff in like twenty minutes with my drill, I just kinda dug. Like the drill plus ultimine, easy. Plus with my little charcoal farm, I never have to worry about power. Okay. So, now we can set these down for real. Perfect, so they're actually working now. Okay, so... Like these for deposit. And then take items, yes. Okay, perfect. Place that down. Cool. Um So now I guess I can hook up another one of these chests here. I don't remember what I put it as. Like, I don't remember what like orientation. I guess it was this way. So it was two light gray and a light blue. have... I do have obsidian. Okay. Do I even need to go up here? I don't know if I do. I think I have... I might have everything I need right here. Down I go. Put this back. So, if I... Let's see. A little chest. Oh, wait, no, I do need to go up for those ruins, though. My little block there. Get my brick. There we go. So I got my chest, but I do need the runes, so I need to go get one light blue and two light gray, I think. I think is what I'm using for my charcoal. Oop. So set that up. It'll output... I'll put in stacks? Maybe not. Maybe? I don't know. No, probably not. Um, right, the runes. I think they're over here. I need two of these and a light blue. Okay. I think, let's hope this is the right orientation for this. Yes, it was. Perfect. Okay. Take this entangled chest, I'll bring it down there with a, uh, an output thingy. We're gonna have to power all this too, huh? So I'll set up the chest, but I won't put the, the output yet. Because nothing's powered yet. Or maybe I could. I guess I could just put it... Yeah, nothing's gonna come out yet. It's not actually powered. So it's fine. I'm gonna have to follow this tutorial a little bit more. If only just to see how the gear placements are. I like how compact it is, that's kind of the thing. Mine would probably not be as compact. Put this here, we put the... chest. That here. Funnel on it. Perfect. Okay. So now that'll come out. That'll grab that. Give it to those things. Perfect. Let's put the fluid tanks back on. One more up. Pretty sure it's four high. And then, uh, all these.
<laughs> okay, then we do it. Um, need to rotato. Rotato. And... Okay, that's actually working. Okay. That goes all out that way, and that goes all out that way. I wonder if I can drive these with belts. Oh, maybe... Maybe it'd be better with gears? I don't know. No idea. <laughs> I don't know if gears would be better. Uh, well, let's find out. Let's find out how this go. Uh, okay, so they're doing that. Right, so feed it water on the back, right. I'm just doing one for now, and then I'll extend this out later. I just need the one. Or a decent amount of power. I'll probably just carry the... Carry my dirt. Okay, so that's there. Um... Okay, okay, okay. So then, yeah, so that's just the trough right above it. Got it. So it'll be like, oh yeah. That's what they do. They make the floor of the trough with this, which is not, why is that not oriented right? There. Oh, other way. Other way. Hey, M.A.K., what up? How's it going? I am working on a little bit of a steam engine right now. Okay, so then what they did... Is they used trap doors. I guess I can use that too? Do I want to? I guess. Would that be easier? Probably. I might use the tiled glass, just because. Um... Just because I can. Close up. When I break it, I get it back. <laughs> That's why I use this stuff. I can have glass and break it. I believe... I need that space there. For the water. So then... Like that, probably... Yeah. My thing is extending it would be a little bit more of a pain. That should work, I think. Eat some water. And get up there. <laughs> and then, okay, it totally doesn't flow out. That's good. Um, do I have another water bucket? I don't. Cool. <laughs> Actually, I think I have a sink on me. I could probably use that. Uh, where is it? There it is. What a weird thing these mods are sometimes. Go. Cool. I don't know if it actually breaks. I'm gonna use this just in case. Except it's not. Why is it not working? Oh. No water. Also, what was that? Was there... It sounded like there was a villager, right? What, what was that? It was weird. Is there a villager down in here? No, my sink. Okay, so that should now work. Um... I guess I didn't actually need to make it this big. I probably... no. Well, it just had to be here. I probably could have made this one more in, huh? Yeah, probably. <laughs> I could probably make that smaller. Alright, like I can just do it here. I think that works. Isn't it weird to be able to smash glass and get it back? That's a little bit better. A little more compacty. Oh, except the gear there. Well, I'll break that and put the gear when I need it. 
Um. Right. Okay. So that's where the speed controller goes. That's right. Um. Hang on, I just want to see how they have that hooked up. They have like the speed controller hooked up to the small gears. Does that work? I guess that works. I thought that didn't work. Ah. Huh. Oh. How did they... Oh yeah, because this doesn't need to be there, the corner bit. Yeah, okay. They have it like going sideways. I, I didn't think that worked. Does it? I don't think that connects, no. How do they do that? Unless maybe it's different if it's connected to a speed controller? I don't know. Weird, interesting, okay. Uh, let's make one. See if that works, I need one anyway. Where is it at, where is it at, there it is. Uh, oh, damn, it's another precision. Shit. <laughs> okay. Hang on. I gotta... We'll make the precisions. Uh. Project for a project for a project. I'm telling you. It never ends. Whoops. Huh. What, is, what does that do? It just extends it? Okay. I guess it just makes it longer for some reason. Oh, I guess just to, I don't know, for aesthetic reasons, maybe? Sure. I mean, as long as it works, right? I assume that's still filling up. <laughs> I have no idea, actually. Um, sure. Whatever. Don't know what that means. Um, alright, so I need to put down a depot with a little deployer being powered somehow by something. <laughs> I did not think this through. Uh, maybe I need another room. I don't know where to put this thing. I don't know. All my power is going all over the place. I guess I can just throw it in over here. That might work. If I just... Because I can just give the deployer stuff. I can just do this manually for now. I had one... Somewhere. Did I put it back? Oh, I know. I have them on me. Okay, um, then we just connect this up in some way to that. Um, in some way to that. How do I, how do I? It is always the question. Can I put one? Coming out sideways? No, I think because that one's there. I don't think it can. It doesn't want to go. Okay, so maybe I can't put one on there. Um, hmm. Could I put one here and then sideways? Right? Like if I do that. That'll work. Then how do I get it down? I guess I can just belt it. Hmm. See, what I kind of wanted to do was have this a little bit over. Oh, well, I guess if I move the gear over. No, because then it'd be attached to there. It'd be hitting that. Well, I'll just belt it. What the? <laughs> Why? Hopefully I have enough power. Okay, I do. Cool. Alright, so then... Hopefully I can do this. Put that there. 
I just have to put one maybe maybe that's the problem maybe I have to put one and then um nope how do you give no nope. <laughs> you give deployers things I forget does it have to go into a uh oh there we go and then that and then what was the last thingy remember how to make this I haven't made any yet precision 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 there oh nugget this technically works I'll make a, like an actual assembly line later Oops. Um. Oop. How many do I need to give it? What did it turn into? What is that? What up, Gold Acid? How's it going? Is it done? What happened? Wait, did I like... Did I break it? Okay. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I broke it somehow. Had your cake day on the 12th? Well, happy birthday. Happy cake day. Um. Something's not right here. <laughs> Where's my... Oh, wait. It has my gears. Hey? How many does it need? It just keeps breaking. There we go. Why did it break before? It turned into like an andesite thing. That was weird. Maybe I did something wrong. Okay, I definitely need to make that like an automated thing. That's kind of annoying. <laughs> Uh, and ever since then, I kind of wish it hadn't happened. It felt like that was the peak and everything went downhill after that. Don't worry, that's every birthday ever. <laughs> no, it's not that bad. That's nah, fine, you know. Casing. Russ, take it from an old man like me. It's fine. <laughs> you hit that usually, like, in your 20s. And then in your 30s, you're like... Nah, it's fine. Whatever. <laughs> Usually. Um, okay, so... Pop this down, put that there. I think I ramp this to 80? I think that's right. I will find out here in a second. Um... Got the big gear. I feel like I wasted a bunch of gears. Does that connect in any way to that? It doesn't seem like it does. I don't know how they did that. Because it seems like... Yeah, they put a bunch of gears. They did the gear. Okay. It doesn't seem like that should actually connect at all. Oh, I guess it does. It just doesn't look like it does, maybe. Oh, it's at 192. Okay, well, I mean, it looks like it worked for them. I don't know if this actually works, but we'll find out right now. 
Anything, I had surgery a full week ago and it forced me to stay home the entire week. Fine until it wasn't because I had a pile of stuff to complete to make up for that time. Mr. Chem test. Oh man. I mean, that, that does suck to have to make up stuff like that, but... I don't think... It, it was not like a college thing, right? That's harder. Catching up in high school stuff's easier. Okay, so that's connected. That should probably be working. Um... Let me just find out. Okay, so... Steam engines, right. Okay. That's where they're powering... They're, they power this with water wheels, which I'm not going to do because I already have my power generation elsewhere. I think, okay, so it looks like they just actually directly power the pumps off of other power. So... So I'm not going to do that. I will just connect that to my power I have over here. why build more power when that's the whole point of the power that I'm making I guess just in case you run out of power that's not a bad idea like it is what I would do in Factorio actually would be to um, probably be to do the way they're doing it but also, like, I'm too lazy right now. <laughs> like, I've already got power here. It's fine. That's the day of the day after your birthday was when the realization that I had to catch up in all your classes came up. And today, the day after yesterday, I don't say. Had, you had a blood check? Learn that you have beta thalassemia. I don't know what that is. Hopefully it's not bad. You okay? <laughs> I don't know what that means. Anemia? Oh. I mean, is it really bad? I, I don't know. I don't know how this stuff works. Isn't that just if you're, like, low blood sugar or something? I don't know. Our money would probably know. I'm, f I'm fairly uh, dumb when it comes to these kind of things. Okay, so that's pumping now. It should be pumping. Ow. How do you, uh... Make the windows show up on this thing? Is it not just... Click it? <laughs> I don't know. How do you make the windows show up on a boiler? I guess you don't. Eat water. It should be... It's not spinning. See, that's what confuses me. Oh, did I do this like one too high, maybe? No, that should be right. Hmm. Maybe this is an older version where that worked. Okay, how am I going to get this hooked up then? Um... Hang on. Ow. Oh, I know. If I... Do... Big gear? Right? Yeah, if I do a big gear here... And then... Another small gear here... Oh, wait. Another big gear there, and then, um... I hear... I hear the bats. And maybe a, uh... Yeah, I don't need these corner ones, okay. Uh... Here? controller does it have to go sideways Pro 
probably. Okay. Um. Here, someone's being attacked out there. <laughs> Why do you not want to go where I want you to go? There we go. Oh. 192. Um. People with beta that have low levels of hemoglobin reduce oxygen levels in the body. Affected individuals also have a shortage of red blood cells anemia, which can cause pale skin, weakness, fatigue, and more serious complications. Uh, well, I mean, I hope it's no, not serious complications. I hope you're okay, man. Whoop. Why didn't that work? Um... Okay, well that didn't work. Um, okay, so that, and then... I guess I gotta put it here? It must have been thinking that it was connected to that. So... Do that, and then put the roller here. Okay, and pop that back a little bit. There we go. There we go. Oh, oh that's right. I don't have the. Uh, I don't have the power yet. However, it is well. It's not actually working because there's no heat. Well, I guess it's very low heat. Engineers hate him. <laughs> Okay, so then I need to attach this here. If we're going to have kids with someone else with that type of stuff, let's just say that's a bad idea, but I don't care about that right now. I just want to play my PS4. That's the spirit. Worry about it later. <laughs> and though that's, uh, yeah, that, that's rough. Uh, oh, I could probably actually just belt that, huh? Boom, boom. I can. That works. Oh, it's going the wrong way. Um. Shoot. I need to rotate it the other way. Oh, actually. Probably. No. No, because that would go there. Um. Actually, if I do more wood, that there with these with the small ones, there you go. If I do that, that'll rotate the right way, and then it won't directly connect. But, or actually, I could make it directly connect. Just extend that out one. Perfect. There you go. Now it's going the right way. Okay, so now that's coming out. Um, oh, they're falling off. That's not... That's not good. There we go. Put a little bit of a wall up. Um, now that needs to be powered. Um, maybe one normal day after being 16. Your brother helped you get your PS4 back in work condition after collecting dust for a good while and restarted Horizon since. Cool. My, that's my like my dad's favorite game. I never got into it, but I also made the mistake of trying to play it after I played um, Bloodborne, <laughs> so it was really jarring. Okay, so they're doing lava generation now. I'm watching that video from Batsy, Von Fangies, Von Fangies. They seem cool. I have that temptation to like invite them to the server, but all at the same time, it's like I know nothing about them, and also like I feel like they know Minecraft way better than like any of us. So maybe this is like a downgrade coming to our server, <laughs> you know? 
Okay, so that's that. Um, yeah, so they're setting up that. How do they power these thingies? Okay, so they do that. I will do that later. Um, some decor. Ah. Okay. Oh. They did like encased shafts. Is that what that is? Belts? Shafts? Belts? So that's going up to that. Oh, wait. I think they just completely skipped over that bit. Did they? Or did I just miss it? I think they just skipped over the... Um, Power part? No. I, I think I just missed it. I'm trying to follow this tutorial. Oh, you know what? I think they did just kind of skip through it. I think they said they, they sped up the ending. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> well, I don't know what the ending of this thing is. Let's look at the schematics. The classical playlist will make everything feel different while playing it. Um, I've been listening to a lot of piano stuff later. Which then I realize <laughs> I've been listening to a lot of Claude Debussy. Oh <laughs> uh, no. But um No, I really did like I was I've been enjoying some some good piano music, you know? Download schematic. So like I'm just trying to see okay, so they did kind of skip over the last bit. I just don't know. Judging by the thumbnail, I can kind of see how they did this. I'm still just a little bit confused as to how this works. So that's encased belts, I think, going up to the shafts. Um... Yeah, I'm trying to, like, Trying to piece this together now based on just like a couple of shots from the video because they don't actually fully go into um, the power, it doesn't look like. They kind of, um... Okay, how does it... Oh, I see. They didn't actually connect the gears up directly. They use like, yeah, an encased drive there, encased belts or something there. Oh, I see. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. I didn't actually think of doing it that way, but okay. Oh, they drove it off of that. Interesting. Um. Okay, so for my porpoises here, I don't really need anything else to be at a certain speed, I don't think, maybe? I'm not sure, actually. A lot of Debussy better than Frederick Roll Chopin. <laughs> Chopin? I love that Debussy. <laughs> Um, right, okay, so we just gotta figure this out. Whoops. When multiple, what does that say? When multiple force round, uh, prefer first? Sure. Um, so it's basically just, how do I do this? I might just need to make a, uh, a thingy. I just need more wood. Ah, wrong thing. I have so many, like, little, little different pockets and stuff. I kind of forget where stuff is sometimes. We do that with a little bit of gear. Wait, oh, wait, I have that backwards, huh? No, wait. Oh, it's not even wood. Duh. <laughs> it's a, um... I need the casing. I'm getting confused now. There's so many things. Based piano. Gotta love that piano music. I would play it if I wasn't so concerned it would get claimed, which I'm pretty sure it probably would. Like, even if it's, um, what do they call it? Like, royalty free or whatever? Like, you know, if it, if it was in that domain, I, I don't think, I think it would still not be, it'd probably still get claimed, that's all I'm trying to say. Why is that? Uh, oh. 
there. Okay. It's going real slow, though. I need to go faster. Um, oh, maybe that's why they had their own speed controller on this side. I saw them do that. I might need to make another one? Well, for now, this is okay. At least I've got that. So, uh, water and heat. Because this is now going to be powering itself. So I'm, now I need to hook that up to that. Hopefully it goes to the right speed. I don't know. Hmm. How do I do it in such a way that the speed... Because I'm sure that's going to speed up. I have a feeling that it's going to speed up as the power goes up. I mean, maybe it doesn't, but it probably will. <laughs> so, like, how do I keep that from destroying itself? Because that's going at a, at a set speed already. I'm not sure. Um, is there something? I'm guessing it's the speed controller, but I think that's just the output, right? So it takes an input and then speeds up the output. Yeah, I don't think it works the opposite way. I don't think it'll take an input from the top. So... Flywheel? Start spinning. What does that do? Okay, I don't think that's right. Um, hmm. <laughs> I don't know what block I need. I assume this is going to go faster. So would I need an adjustable chain gear shift? Is that... I don't know. You know, I'm just going to connect this up and see what happens. <laughs> Let's just find out what horrible things I'm about to do. So that is here. Okay, so I can make that go... Where am I? Two more out. Somehow, maybe. Possibly. Out to hook that back up, and then oh wait a minute, that's not right. That's not right at all. Um, that to that. All right, now I think it's three. Nope. What are you doing? <laughs> you put a lava tank? Uh, I mean, I guess that would work, but right now, yeah, I think they're powered up enough off of this. Yeah, the heat's fine. Okay, so maybe they, they don't actually spin faster. Maybe that's just the set speed. However, I may use that later. Um, but thank you. So let me see. How do I do the belts again? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't know how to build even the basic stuff anymore. It's been too long. Um, belt. Belt. Where, where do, where is belt? There's belt. Oh, it's six. Okay. Need more water for it to speed faster. It's... Oh, right, that's why. Um, because I need the power from itself to then give itself power in the back. <laughs> that's the problem that I'm having right now. Actually, you know what? Um, in that case, what I can do is shut down my other machines temporarily. What is going on in here? And then speed it up and then reattach everything. That would do it. Make more valves for water. Probably don't need to yet. Hang on. I think I know what the problem is. Um, there we do that. No, I'm pretty sure I'm good. Uh, okay, let's check this out now. So, as long as it doesn't stop, uh, there we go. There, that should do it now. Give it a sec. 
Oh wait, did it break? Oh, it broke. Shoot. Oh, I think that's why they did the belts. Oh, that's probably... Yeah, I need to do the encased belts. That's what it was. I'm doing... I'm attaching the... Here directly. What I need to do is... I think... No, a gear shift. Not a gear shift. A, uh... And do another one of these. Yeah, I, I know the RPM's too fast. Hang on. I need a couple more of these here. Okay. Uh, do that. I need to move this over. Um... To here? Yeah. So I put this one on top of this. And then shaft that over. Throw this on here. Then I gotta put this... Here. Flipperino. Throw this over here. Okay, that should start spinning. There we go. There we go. That works. Perfect. There we go. That, that's how we do it. The gear couldn't handle the stress. This could. Okay, so then that's good. Um, this I need to spin faster. I guess I can do it off of a... Uh, uh, oh, actually, you know what? If I just take that and move it here... Can I make it spin faster? I suppose I could just make another one of those. Yeah, level 9 boiler. Yeah, there we go. It was a little bit of a work in progress. <laughs> like, I knew what needed to be done, but I did it in a different order. Okay. Now it's spinning. So now I have the speed here. Um, so that's pretty much what the speed's gonna be. What I can do is then... Have a slime escaping? Oh, I, they're... They're not penned up, they just spawn down here. <laughs> they just spawn. It's kind of a problem, actually. Because I don't want them around. They just show up down here. do a couple of these. So I think if I should be able to lower the speed down. I think that's the right speed for that. Um, but now I need to <laughs> line up the shafts or get it rotated. Actually, that's how I can do it. Um, snowman will kill them? Oh. Will it? Then maybe. They'd probably be safe down here, too. And we'll do that in a second. If I get that, there we go. Except it's going the wrong way. Um... Robmeister General? Well, thank you! How's it going? How is it going? Hopefully you're enjoying my boring little boiler stream. <laughs> uh, let's see, how do I go, how do I make this go the other way? Oh, wait, if I just do, wait, if I just do that. Up. Go up. There we go. Whoops. There we go. So now, whoops. There. So that should be adding my stress units together, probably. Nice. Cool. Okay, so then I should be able to put this back on. Yeah. Nice. We got steam. Look at that. Look at it go. Only problem is if this ever slows down, this is definitely going to break. <laughs> but that's yeah, fine. Just don't let it slow down, right? That's just, that's how you do it. <laughs> All right, so now... What was it that needed power? Oh, yeah, it was this thing. Um, God, there's just slimes everywhere. 
<laughs> it's just all over the place. Okay, so what was breaking before is if I turned this on. Yeah, so we've got plenty of power now. If I turn this on. Yeah. I can actually have everything on now at the same time. <laughs> Beautiful. And what's nice about this is I can just keep uh, building it out that way. So cool. So that's one project down. I actually got one done. Perfect. Um, yeah, look at that. Look at it go. That just doesn't use as much fuel as I thought it would. You know, like the original design that I was going off of, which again is to say, um, Batsy Von Fangies. Go check them out. They've got like 500 subs. They definitely need more because this is a good, um, it's a good design. I like it. Uh, do wish the ending was shown a little bit more. I understand why they put it. They said in the comments it was like for health reasons. They had to speed this up. Um, but um. Yeah. Still, without that, it's fine. Because, like, once I got most of the way through it, it was fine. But anyway, go check out Batsy Von Fangies. Because this is thanks to them, really. And so the way I'm going to do this now is... It's it's essentially modular. Is everything I've done here, I can just kind of build out. Right? This is going to ex extend. Um, and just attach tiny gears in between each one of those things. Uh, same thing with this. Each pump, you just put, like... You know, gears between them. And that would power the whole thing. Um, I don't need... I don't need these gears to be here. I guess it doesn't hurt. Also, I'm stuck. Oh, wait. No, I, oh, I do, actually. No, that goes that into that. Yeah, okay, I do. I do need that. <laughs> kind of forgot what was what. That goes. Okay, cool. And then, see, this power comes all the way through here into where the water wheels were also generating power into this whole uh, hallway. So next thing I need to do, now that I have power sorted, I still need to make the precision thingy, uh, but that's not such a big deal at the moment now. Oop, just hop that, don't worry. Uh, so now, okay, so I didn't actually break this yet, good. So this is my food farm. This is what I was working on originally. <laughs> is this done? Oh, it is, nice, okay. So I'm working on another one of those, essentially. Which, how many, have I actually even shown that one being made? I think I might have. <laughs> so I'm just showing it again. Uh, basically doing a little bit of a windmill underground where it spins and collects everything. Um, yeah, so the toast is in there. So what I want is the toast to come out. And then... I think it's a mixer? Toast. Toast with jam. Yeah, oh, right, no, okay, so it's just that and that. Yes, it's in a mixer. Okay. So then the thing I need to make first is the jam, which is just any fruit, well, not any fruit, but the fruits that make jam, plus sugar in a pot, which the pot also goes into a basin. And it doesn't come out, I don't think. <laughs> so I think I can just throw the pot in the basin and it'll stay there, so I, then I just need to insert sugar and fruit. I'm going to have strawberries being made here, so that'll be harvested. Um, so let's do that. Then I need to get from the sugarcane farm, I need to pipe that over uh, to another processing thing for sugar. But let me see, is that also a mixer or what? what creates sugar? Okay, so it's just ground down. Uh, I guess I can just use a mill. <clears throat> so that's easy. So I can have the sugar cane go into a mill. It just creates a bunch of sugar and more sugar. That's fine. I don't want to do crushing wheels because those are kind of a pain to make, but the milling is fine. So, or I guess we can just do, oh wait, no, that's honey. Or is it? Oh, I see. You can make one to one, but this does like maybe three. So we'll definitely mill it. Um, and then that will go into mixer and then into another mixer so i need a basin eve is just no no i think the basin is andesite maybe is it like an andesite bucket yeah bucket so let's see so that would go into here how much toast is in here that's Fine. If I break this... No, it should still exist in the other one. 
So if I break this... Okay. Um, and then put this down here. So now the toast will go in here. So then the recipe filter... I don't... Well, I don't actually have any of that. <laughs> or do I? Wait, I think I made jam at some point. Do I still have it on me? Or I might have dumped it off. Actually. Uh, unfortunately. I should have made the toast with jam first. I suppose I actually can. Let's go make that. So I can actually put the output recipe on that. Um, and then we'll work backwards, I suppose. Yeah, so toast with jam, and then I need to make the jam. I should probably also put this on another... Um, there's so much sugar. So, so much. I'm surprised this isn't just dumping all over the floor at this point. We do that, plus... Pot. You put the pot, you put the fruit, and you put the sugar. And you get a jam. And then... Where is my toast? Open up the bag, get a piece of toast. And then toast plus jam. Toast with jam. Cool. All right. Yeah, that's like way better. It's like five and 14. It's like not amazing, but that 14 nourishment is actually pretty good. Like I like that a lot. Again, not the best, but for how cheap it is, it's pretty nice. It probably doesn't hold, like, hunger super long, but that's not a big deal to me, with the cooler on hand. The recipe filter, bam bam. Okay, so then that would, um... Oh, you know what? I can actually extend... Could extend the um oh, I've only made one. I need more kelp. I extend this out, right? Oh wait, that was attached there. Um Yeah, then I can put my chest back here and then have it go in there. Oh wait, that needs that doesn't need to go one more, huh? Extend that one. You put chest down there, and then do I have another thing? I don't. Not on me. I need to go get one or make one. I guess I can make one. Easy enough. There. So that would pop out here, go in there. Cool. So that's one side, sort of. I have to turn after an unprecedented interruption. I understand those entirely. <laughs> uh, right, so now then the mixer would go up in there. I'll have to like dig a thing probably, sort of, and somehow attach it. That's not a big deal. But now I need on this side, oh. That's not what I wanted. I don't want that to be an output. Input. Um. Oh, wait. That's not gonna work, is it? Uh. uh no. Because it's, it's all going that way. Huh. How do. Probably do it below, maybe? I don't know. Would that work? If I put a shaft here... Eh. 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 Okay. <laughs> and then... I built it like that. Does that work? Oh, I guess that works. Okay, that's... That'll do. So then I can have it come down like that. Okay. Um, and that is the jam. So... Jam. We need sugar. <laughs> we need to do a mill, uh, a sugar mill. Do I want to do it? I guess it should be on this side. It should be in here somewhere. The sugar with fruit 
in the pot. So I, first I need to do this. This will offload the, the fruit onto that side. Yeah. So let's do this bit first. Let's make a little windmill thing. Do I have seeds for this? Ah, that, that doesn't matter. I have so many slime balls, it doesn't matter on that part. All right. So, what do I need? What do I need? I need, um, well, let's first dump off some stuff that I don't need. Because I have a lot. Don't need that anymore. Don't need that. Uh, don't need that. Really kind of it, actually. Some stuff can go in here again. Boopity boop boop. Block of charcoal. Don't really need that. This can go up in here. Uh, I guess I can leave this here. Okay. And that will do. Um, this is really cool. <laughs> yeah, and again, it doesn't actually use that much charcoal. They keep power pretty long. Surprisingly long. I really thought I was going to be constantly feeding them. But they burn for a while. Uh, okay, what was I needing? I needed a... I need to make a windmill. Right. Why am I so, like, scatterbrained sometimes? I'm just like, I can't even remember what I'm doing half this time. At create. Okay, so windmill is... I need a radial chassis. I suppose it helps. It's just logs and then that. Okay, I got that. Got plenty of that. Okay, got a radial chassis. And then the windmill bearing. All right, stone, wood slab, and a thing. Instead of making more wood slabs, I'm just going to go up here. I don't think I actually have any on me. I don't want to make any more. I have so many. <laughs> I always make six when I need one, you know? I can't believe it's already four again. It's just like, man, the day is just flying by. Something, something is wrong. I've been waking up so late lately. Feels awful to wake up late, you know? Why did I, what did I do? I do need to go to sleep earlier. But then I'm like, I'm doing stuff. I don't know, I'm just <laughs> making things. Okay, windmill bearing, and then, uh, I have more wool. Where did all my wool go? Nani, where'd you put my wool? There, it's, why is there like no more wool? Huh. Scaled wool? I don't know, she made this little loom room and my wool has disappeared. <laughs> Daylight savings, we lost an hour. Yeah, but it's just an hour. Like that doesn't like, like it's fine. <laughs> it's not that big a deal, but it's like, I don't know. It feels, I think I've just been actually just sleeping late. Like not even in like an hour late, I mean like really late. And then waking up like even later. Where, what the hell? Chicken nest, interesting. Also sheep need grass blocks. I don't even know, oh here they are, oh. See this is what I told them. <laughs> Which is why I had the sheep over there, and then they moved them up here, and I was like, they need grass blocks. And, um, yeah, they did not put grass blocks down. Okay, I think they were hoping that they would fill up the feeding trough. But I think that's for babies. Yeah, I don't know, they moved them up here and they put wood floors. I didn't have anything to do with this. <laughs> um, I think I have some grass blocks, uh, down there. I'm gonna have to take out that flooring. That's oh, gonna be such a pain. Reference for me, yeah, I figured. I don't know, I didn't build that. <laughs> and I had them here, because I knew the grass would spread in there, and then they moved them up there. Which is fine, I guess, but yeah. You don't actually get wool off of them. But 
three grass. I think I have... Oh, wait, is it... Should be in my... Dirt chest. There we go, I got some grass. Not that I need it, I could just extend the, the dirt further out, but... You know. I'll just replace the floor. I got something in my nose. Ah. It's fine. <laughs> like I got a piece of dust or something. It's been raining around here. So it's like my nose is all sorts of out of whack, you know? Um, okay, let me see. So that's okay, the wooden floor is not attached to anything else, so if I just do this. Be kind of a pain to fill this in with them in the way, but I can all get it done. Out of the way, sheep. I've been reading this manhwa called Leviathan. It's really good. It it's kind of reminding me of uh, like the best bits of like Attack on Titan with maybe a little bit of Demon Slayer. It's really good. Like, I don't actually like those two <laughs> mangas. Like, I I read all of Attack on Titan and all of Demon Slayer. I don't like them. Um, but Leviathan is like, someone read those and is like, I'm going to do this better. <laughs> it's really good. Big recommend. Would you guys, like, go up? Like, I, I built the thing up. Can you go over there? <laughs> this thing's stupid sheep. Come on. <laughs> Go. I mean, I guess this technically works. Why are they so jump up? Kill one and the rest will follow. Anyway, yeah. Recommend Leviathan. Don't know why that popped in my head right now, but um I was just like, you know, while I'm while I'm trying to fight sheep. Out of the way. <laughs> Go. There we go. Now they're running. <laughs> Bop them. There we go. Okay, so that's filled in. Now, now, oh wait, no, there's still a spot. Damn it. Ah. It's like Clarkson's farm. Now that's a good show. There we go. All right. <laughs> so that that's better now. We should have wool. Don't you dare. Uh, oh yeah, it's all all in my dank. Not too much, but decent enough. Oop. Okay, so then I think it was, um, sticks, right? Then we do, oh wait, no, it was, um, an andesite. Something like, uh, oops. Something like this, or that, or I don't actually remember how this, <laughs> I've made so many. And again, I can't remember how things are done. Where's the thing? Uh, sale. Oh, I was overthinking it a little bit. That's a different recipe I was thinking of. There we go. Whoops, too many. That's okay. It'll just spin faster this way. I got that, got that. Um, okay. But then I need to make the little... Mowers? <laughs> I'm like trying to think of what... What are words? What are words? Harvester. That's what I need. 
I need a couple of them too. I need a lot of them actually. Good thing I have a lot of alloy. And then, so that, that, I need a bunch of harvesters, and then I need a, um, storage. Just a chute and a casing. My casings are here. This chute is, what, like, no? Uh, why can't I ever remember how to make anything? Oh, okay, that's with iron. Alright. Okay, so let's just get a bit of iron here. Whoops. I gotta smash up a couple people. <laughs> well. He did. Bye bye. How many did I make for this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I did ten. The ghouls can climb. <laughs> Rip. Uh, so I need twenty. Twenty plates. Twenty iron. And then, oh wait, no, I need more than that, right? That's for the, wait, was that for the harvester? No, that was for the, shoot. Oh, I don't actually need that. Oh, well, whatever. I, <laughs> I didn't actually need that many, that makes four. Well, oh well. This is what I was thinking of. Two each, no, no, I do need 20. I need others, yeah. I don't know. Now don't put my sword there. <laughs> don't smash my sword. I need that. One of those. Okay. Um. And then I need the shoots. Right. So that is just two more. If you want to destroy my sweater. Yeah. And then, um, where is it? Always in a different spot there. Okay. Yeah. Just that and a casing. That gives me one. Two. Yeah, I think I've got everything now. Where's my glue? I think it's in here. Got it. Okay. Let's fully assemble this now. That one doesn't, I didn't do this one as like a windmill. This one's actually attached to my powering system. Probably do this differently now, but it's already hooked up, so. Whatever. That was pro. You saw that. <laughs> that was pro. Um, okay, so windmill. There. Uh, radial on top. Pro strats. <laughs> pro jumps. And then a couple of these going out. Oh, I'll have to put, I'll have to get rid of one of these and then put it back. I guess I can have the fruit. No, that'd be too much. Parkour, pro parkour. See, I want the fruit to come over here, so I might as well just set it up like this initially. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Probably get away with nine, but whatever, I have ten there. 
I made this one like one smaller because I think the corners on this one don't actually hit. Um, well, I kind of do. That's fine. Then I do that with the sails on top, chest, and the thingy. That is how I did that. Thingy. There is the chest. Bonk. Uh, we put sails on. Sail! And then the mowers. Okay, so that'll catch the uh, all the corners now too. Um. Oh, I forgot to glue this. I always forget to actually put the glue on. Eh? Why is it not breaking? What the hell? Oh, is it because I'm using? Not because I'm using the glue to smack it. If I hit it with toast, it'll work. There we go. A boom. Okay. That's going to ten. I mean, I'm going to glue the whole thing together anyway. I guess if I put one more radial on top, that would work. Feels like a waste of a radial, though. But. Whatever. Yeah, that's probably actually better. I think this is better than using glue, because I think this actually, like, holds on to this better. Yeah, so that, eh, that'll do that, so that'll rotate the whole thing. And then... Whoops. This needs to go... Here. I thought it's actually attached to anything yet. So... Alright, so that should spin. Yep. Perfect. Okay. Oh, interesting. The outside actually spins faster. Of course it would. Alright, so that works. Let's start planting. Or actually, um... Whoops, not the right button. Where is my... That. My hoe. this all. Hang on, I'm gonna take this off. <laughs> the shield gets in the way when I'm doing this. Whee! Just tow it all. Now, some people might say having a diamond hoe is a waste. And you know what? Probably. But I have so many. <laughs> I have so many diamonds at this point. Not a big deal. Again, having that drill with Ultimine, it's just like I plow Mile through the earth. Any automated quarry I could make would not be as good <laughs> as me just digging. Actually, no, that's not true. I guess I could make a better quarry, but like the amount of time and resources spent on it, I don't know if it's really that worth it. Because like the the only upside of having an automated uh, an automatic quarry would be would be that it would dig while I'm not actually down there. But like, I don't know. I think it's fast enough for me to do it manually. <laughs> it's not a big deal. But maybe it was at some point I will make my quarry better. It's just I don't like any of the create designs for a quarry. They're just not they're not what I want. You know, there's like there's all the designs that are like um you have to dig a tunnel and then you send a minecart through and you attach the drills to it. I saw that. That was like the first thing I saw before. And it works, but I don't like it. <laughs> it's like my least favorite way of doing it. And I thought, I was like, maybe you could have like a deployer in front that lays down mine tracks in front of it so that it can go, but it needs to have powered rails to like make itself keep going. So that wouldn't work unless you had like another deployer. Like you'd have to do this complicated system of like a deployer putting down tracks and then every once in a while somehow putting down a powered rail that's actually powered. I don't know. 
The only way I could think of doing it, 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 which would be really expensive, is to make it constantly lay down powered rails, which are, and like redstone torches next to it. You have a deployer with redstone underneath? Yeah. I guess that's true. If you just had a redstone block. No, but would that power? I don't think so, because redstone doesn't work on a moving contraption. Um. Oh, deploy redstone torches, I guess. Yeah, I guess, yeah, you'd have to make like basically a train. You'd have to make a train. Like, it's possible, but it's like, again, do I want to invest the time into it right now? Maybe not right now. Like, there's other stuff that I think are more pressing in a way. Oh, you know what the problem with this is? It'll, it'll give me seeds. Well, I guess it's not really a problem, because I do need more seeds. I'll just have to put them in a box for now. Yeah. And then I can plant them later. Our seeds. Oop. Yes, it's train and not too expensive. You just need to make a cart assembler. Well, that's... No, I'm guessing it's not expensive. I don't know. So to make it like fully automated, and that's not even like half of it. I, I, I was playing Foundry, right? It's another automation game. And it has a really neat thing where it's basically that, where it automatically places tracks down as this giant drill goes to the earth. That's what I want. But what that game also has is it has minecarts going back and forth. Because the only thing... What account you can specify how long you want it to run? Well, that's the thing. I want it to run forever. <laughs> right? And that's the thing that would make this complicated. Like, you can make all of these simply... But to make it fully automated, which I want, that's where it gets expensive and complicated. So you'd have to make a setup where it constantly creates mine cart or mine tracks, uh, which then somehow get deposited to the active machine, and then a mine cart that comes back, bringing back the contents of the machine. That's the complicated part, <laughs> you know, to have something deliver and then come back, bringing stuff back. And I don't even know if that's possible. I think so. Because an active contraption, at least these things, do dock to one of these things, to, to like, you know, a wall. So, I think having another minecart contraption go down with one of these could connect to it and dump and extract. Entangled chest? Would that work while it's attached to... Actually, I actually haven't even tested that. That'd be kind of a neat idea. Would the internal inventory of this work with an entangled chest? It does work? Okay, that would work. Actually, that would work then, yeah. Oh, then that solves that part. That solves both parts, actually. I didn't even think about entangled chests. If that does work, then yeah, that would actually work then. You could make a... We still have to make the, the track farm. Because once that runs out, the whole thing would, like, fall apart. <laughs> it would just ground itself and never be able to start up again. They're just hard to make unless you have an ender farm. What, entangled chests? I've made so many of them. Uh, I guess that's true, though. You do need the ender eyes. I am running out. Well, yeah. This weekend, if we get on, I do want to go fight the dragon with everyone again. And, you know, hopefully no one's actually gone and done that yet. Because, you know, teamwork. <laughs> Now that I can control what everyone does, like, I don't want to control what everyone does, but there are stuff, there there are things that I want to be, like, on stream, you know? And not necessarily me streaming it. Like, I have no problem, uh, with things happening. Well, I mean, anyone can do whatever they want, but, like, for me personally, it'd be nice to have, like, major stuff be captured in any way on anyone's stream, <laughs> you know? So if anyone was streaming, then it'd be like, oh yeah, fine, go kill the dragon, I don't really care. But it's like, you know, events and things. But it would be still kind of cool to have everyone go fight that thing. Um, uh, no tracks get picked up by plower and you can put it to redeploy, you only need three power rail. Oh, I guess you're, I guess that's true. Yeah, have the plower in the back. I didn't even think about the plow in the back. Yeah, so it keeps picking it up and putting it down. That would work, actually. You're right. 
That would be a pretty good design. I will work on that later. Of course, I'm sure you're going to end up doing it first, but that doesn't bother me. Because, again, I'm not too concerned. I have so many materials right now, it doesn't even... <laughs> not concerned. I have so many diamonds and whatnot. I'm just like, whatever, I don't care. I have so much netherite. Well, I guess I actually used a bunch of it, but I, I still have a good bit of netherite. You have minecart driller. You like it better. The one that's, yeah. The one that's just like you build the thing. Well, then I, I will build the automatic one later because that does sound neat. Like, I didn't even think about the integral chests because I have been using those more and more, but I didn't even think of like attaching them to one of these machines. That would be cool. Because, actually, because then you wouldn't even need one of these attachments. You could just... Ah. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> you could build any one of these farms wherever you wanted it and then just have a funnel with an entangle chest if that's working. Hmm. Well, something to think about, I guess. Do I have... Um... Do I have any more dried kelp? I might need to go get some more. I should probably have made a kelp farm. I should probably make a dried kelp farm. <laughs> Later. That's not my concern right now. Let me just finish this food thing. Let me finish the original project before I get sidetracked like another 10 times. I'm done getting sidetracked. <laughs> um, like unless I need to get sidetracked, which it might be. Actually, no. Um, yeah. Yeah, about to get sidetracked a little bit. All right, to the ocean. I'll probably have to make a little farm. It's not that hard. Kelp, kelp, kelp. That would be interesting, because I have, like, a massive, um like quarry under my house already like a, a manual one from this drill because the drill digs out in like a, a three by three section it actually gets a pretty big area Dweeb. uh where'd uh where's the help oh, there it is oops i can't breathe underwater right now Go smack it with some toast. Oop. Actually, I probably shouldn't... Yeah, don't hit the bottom one. <laughs> Let them regrow a little bit. Oop! Oh, drowning. Collect all this, toast it up. I wonder what the best way of doing kelp farm would be for this. I mean, I guess you could just do like a, a standard redstone one. <laughs> it probably wouldn't be that big a deal. Um, but I wonder if it, like, no, this stuff wouldn't grow if there's a block above it. I was like, I wonder if it would just grow into a uh, block breaker. It doesn't need to be create. I mean, there's a different block breaker too. Ah! <laughs> there was a ceiling there. And then just have it toast. Have it roasty toasty. I'm kind of sad that my boats are gone. I think that mod disappeared in one of the updates. Throw that in there. And just replace that. <laughs> There's so much copper. Oh my god. There's so much. 
need to turn it all into blocks. <laughs> this was like, this took me like a couple of minutes to get all this copper. It's too, so dumb. Went mining last night for all that. <laughs> Just, it's so much copper. This is the other thing with the, the drill that I use. Um, it has silk touch on it, and so if you throw like an actual raw block in a uh, into a crusher, you get twice as many resources. So basically using silk touch, picking up like a diamond ore, or like any ore, and then uh, crushing it gives you twice as much. This is why I have so many diamonds. Because every time I found like an iron or a diamond vein, I basically got twice as many diamonds off of it. Which is super nice. <laughs> or the same thing for nether. Oh no, netherite, that's different. That I had to do uh, some tech reborn stuff. Some tech reborn shenanigans. If you uh, use that grinder, the, the tech reborn grinder, it'll give you a couple extra scraps, uh, the netherite scraps, whatever they're called. And then if you throw those into an alloy furnace with the gold, it's a little bit cheaper than doing it manually, than crafting it manually. Just a little bit. It's like not that much better. But I think you get like an extra or something like that. It's like a little bit better. There we go. All the copper blocks. And I'll take that. That's probably enough for now. Let it all cook down. I suppose... Actually, do I have my netherite on me still? No, I don't. I'll still show it. It's actually not much of a setup. It's like the same setup I've already had. But, yeah, it's just the Tech Reborn grinder. Grinds up the netherite um, stuff. What is it called? I, I forget what it's called. It's like that... Not the scrap. Whatever the blocks that you find are. I don't hear like an organ. Is there a vampire nearby? Like, what was that? Is that just me? <laughs> There's like organ music playing down there. Up and up and up. I wish I could have this elevator without the, uh, the rope. I don't like seeing the rope from down there. Yeah, this. So if I throw the netherite stuff in here, it grinds it up. Gives me, I think, extra on that too. And then I throw it in the alloy smelter here. And then I think it's like... I forget what the ratio is. I know it takes 10 gold. But it gives you, like, three netherite ingots. I forget, but it's, like, an extra ingot. Which is nice. I have 15 netherite ingots. Which doesn't sound like a lot. But then you realize that it's just one netherite ingot for every, like, piece of equipment that you need. So it's actually not that bad. You only really need, like, you know, four for a full set of armor. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> Ah, I'm telling you, something's in my nose. Dusty. Yeah, that's how I got this whole, this whole set that I enchanted to. I made one for our money too, so like I had plenty of netherite and diamonds to make us both full sets of armor and enchant it. Which is what happened to my levels. Like if you're wondering, at, at some point I had like what almost a hundred levels, and <laughs> they disappeared one day. That's what happened. Okay, so what was I doing? 
I was doing something. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, that's right. I was making funnels. I need to make some brass ones. Do a sinus rinse. It will help. Oh yeah, I've got the thing in the bathroom. I'm just not gonna do that. Like I'm not gonna do that right now on stream. <laughs> you know? I'll wait a second. It's fine. Yeah, my dad has, like, really awful sinuses, and I feel like I got some of that from him, too. Um, so, like, we have the sinus rinse stuff in the house. We have plenty. Like, I've got my own. He's got his. We've got a bunch of distilled water and all that. His is, like, way worse than mine. Like, for me, it's mostly, like, an allergy type thing, like a seasonal allergy. But for, for him, it's like he's actually got something, like, up in there. But, yeah, his sinuses are pretty bad, and I feel like I got that from him I also have like really bad ears <laughs> so like I have to keep my headphones usually I'll keep one headphone off and I'll kind of like alternate them I'm sure some people may have noticed on stream I do that sometimes um that's partially like so I can hear our money next to me but also like um why is this like this um but also it's to keep my ears kind of aerated because I, I'm like prone to getting really bad ear infections for no real good reason um I need to bust up one of these I think I don't have any seeds strawberry crop did it already harvest some? maybe I'll probably dump it out if it did let's see Yeah, sometimes just my ears will just start hurting. And I, I think it's from having headphones on all the time. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Cobweb entanglement? What did you just do? Oh, discover a spider cave. I thought it was like some weird entangled chest with spy. <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was some like spider themed entangled chest. I was like, that, that sounds pretty cool. Okay. We got that, and then my seeds there. Okay, put that there, and then I'll attach a little chest to that for now, just because I need to get the seeds to um, fill up the the space here. I don't want to make a bunch of deployers to do it, because I don't need that right now. Um. Left group, so it's saying it's first time doing. Oh, that's right. Okay. Why would you leave the girls' club? All for Yoshi. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh no. What have we done? What have we wrought upon this earth? Oops. I definitely need to go make that kelp farm. Uh, right. Uh, wait, I need to move this and then put another funnel. Sometimes I forget that I have this thing automatically picking up my stuff. Mildly annoying sometimes. Usually fine. Sometimes I don't like it. <laughs> I don't, also don't like switching between them all that much. Okay, so that will... Um, oh, wait, no, I need to put that back. Forget once it changes orientation. Oop. Okay, so strawberries will go that way. I go that way. Um, dude, I don't have... Let me do that. My inventory's filling up again. If I do this, and then I do... Where did all my gears go? I think I used them all. I've got no space. do that then they rotate in the opposite direction actually I should probably put that on the other side 
That doesn't really matter. Um, right. This is why I need more kelp. Wait, let me go get that. <laughs> I need more belts. I do need that farm. That's going to be the next thing I do right now. Let me also maybe dump some stuff off here. Uh, use that, that, don't need that. Um, probably still use the funnels. A little more here and bring that. I don't want to be filling up my inventory. I'm trying to get rid of stuff. Uh, oh, right. Because I have like the clippers and that. That for now. I actually need the toast or the strawberry or the seeds right now. Sticks, I don't really need, but okay, I'll keep them. Oh, the glue, I don't need. I can go back in there. Door. Oh, yeah. My shield back on. Iron here. Okay, that's enough. Pump, pump. Go, Steam, go! Yeah, just one of those. Produces a good bit of power. Okay. Being like this, I just let that go. It has like auto inputs from the top and back. I think I showed that on stream, like one of the first ones. And then back here is the uh, the charcoal blocks that I have just everywhere. <laughs> I have like entangled chests all over the place now. Like once I actually figured out how to uh, code them to give them frequencies, I'm like, now they're everywhere. <laughs> now I put them all over the place. I love these things. They're kind of expensive. But like, I don't know. I, I I do like being able to like just warp stuff around. Not even warp, they're just like the shared inventory. <clears throat> Oop, there we go. Yeah, so I think I would make a dry kelp farm slash belt farm. I think if they automatically make belts, that'd be cool. I think Actually, could you do it in a mixer? Like, I don't like using the, um, other crafty thingy. The mechanical crafters. I don't like using those if I don't have to. Unless it's, like, a one-block one, then that's fine. No, you have to. Yeah, I don't like... Yeah, I'm not gonna do that, then. <laughs> I'll just have it be a, a dry kelp farm, and I'll just manually make the, the belts. Um, let's see... Where do I want to connect this up? So this needs to come out this way anyway. Right? So how far can I do that? I'm thinking I can maybe attach it to like that. Right? Yeah. Because this now needs to go... some way. This will go onto a thing. Yeah, so this needs to go like that. Um... I may have to modify this, but this is the general idea. But this now goes to there. Right, so that goes up and over, down into there. Um, <clears throat> how am I going to do that? I need to power... Uh, let's see... I'm gonna have to do that. And then I'm gonna have to do... Like this... Oh, but that's gonna go the wrong way. That's right. Um, I need this all to come this way. So... Hmm. Right, okay. 
but then that has to go here with this and then like that probably there yeah oh but then how do i i guess i can do it on this side that up okay so now that's all going that way perfect that's all rotating the right way going in up and around in okay so now that's going there so then i can do a big gear a couple of big gears like that Right, if I do like that and that, they should be connected. Uh, but will that be going the right way? I don't think so. Yeah, it's going the wrong way. Um, I think about how to connect these things up. <clears throat> uh, what's the best way? Do that. Do I just put a gearbox or whatever? I could. I kind of want to do it with gears though. Um, no, I guess. I guess a gearbox is the best way. If I put big gear, big gear. That's just for transferring power, but not actually keeping it going the same, the right direction. That's going that way. If I do, uh, <laughs> if I do that with a small gear on top. How would I? <laughs> I'm trying to get it so that it spins a certain way. I don't think these big gears go perfectly next to each other. Like the small ones do, but these don't. So... Uh... <laughs> if I do like that, and then maybe, uh... Like that, and then maybe like, uh... Come on. Come on. Use small gears. Yeah, but they don't... They don't turn the other way. There we go. There we go. And so then I do that. And then one more here, I think. Yeah, there we go. That that works. Probably technically one gear cheaper to do a gearbox, but <laughs> whatever. It's fine. It works. Okay, so strawberries are coming out. Cool, but also problematic because I don't actually have <laughs> the other stuff set up. Um, let's just do that for now. One more. Oops. Never mind. Uh, oh, because that big that put on there. Um, shoot. Go there. Yeah, that has to go. Okay, well, it's gonna like pop off. Oh, then I need uh to turn it into jam first. The so strawberry goes into mixer. Um, I do this backwards, I think. Right? No, wait. It should probably be on the corner here. Actually, yeah, they should mix mix here because I think I can do the sugar on this side. So the strawberries... Oh no, it did pop over! <laughs> Hang on, wait a minute. Uh, let's just do that for now. Yeah, let's just get rid of that. Um, okay, so then... I have a basin somewhere, actually. I think, or maybe I used it. I can make another one. So we put a basin here. Boom. Um, yeah, for the jam. A 
die for the jam. Recipe jam. Okay. Oops, we're gonna do that now. And then just throw a filter on. Whatever, because it's only gonna be strawberries coming from this side anyway. Is the output there? Yes, it is. That's good. Okay. There. Um. Okay, so now the strawberries will come out there, go into there. Um, it shouldn't put anything out yet. But I think I could put the filter back on. Probably. Um, and then I can throw this in here. Oh, oh right. <laughs> because right now that's an output. Input. Okay, so that should stay in there, yeah. Okay, so I need a mixer here, a mixer there. So this will make the jam. That'll come up into here, making the jam toast. And that'll pop out and go into here. Yes. Good. And then uh, we need sugar being made over here. So I need to make another entangled chest, or another two, really. Uh, connect those up. I guess I can just make a long conveyor. Nah, that'd be too much. <laughs> do I want to make a long conveyor belt all the way over here? Probably not. Yeah, we'll have to do entangled chest. So then I need a milling machine. Where is it? There. A millstone. It's just small gear that and a block. Okay. Here we'll get a casing. And I need to make two more entangled chests. I don't know if I have, I don't think I have enough eyes for that. I mean, no, I think I do. I have more ender pearls. I do. Really, I think that's the most expensive part at the moment. Once we have an ender farm, which I will make. I did one on the other server before. But this time I might be able to actually just like entangled chest it. Probably, maybe, I don't know, like, if I can get the 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 blaze farm working, then I know how to do the ender farm because like it's just the items. Those spikes are supposed to drop items, but they didn't seem like they were. It might be fixed now because I haven't checked it in a while. I'll have to go figure that out. But that was the thing that was stopping me before. Okay, so we got the millstone. Uh, I still need to make those mixers actually. Parkour. Parkour. <laughs> okay, so then... Uh, I guess actually I can do this. Keep extending it out. It is going the right way. So then that, that, that. Um, I can put the millstone here. Boop. I don't necessarily have to do these. I could probably just drop them into the top, but I do prefer having them. Oops. Boop. Okay, so now that will go into here. I do need to drive this. Um, I think I can just do that with... Big gears. Need more wood. Oops, always the wrong button. Oh, I do have a big gear. And shafts. What the hell? <laughs> and a belt. What? Huh. It must oh when they exploded that one time. This thing automatically picks up stuff that I drop. I can turn that off though. Lossy XD? Did I get that in the right order? Hello. <laughs> How's it going? Uh, let's see, so if I, let's see, if I do that, boom, and then another one, and another one.
that. Right? Yeah. So we put that, like, there. I can extend this out. Um, yeah, I can just extend it. One more. Shaft on that. Whoops. Spin it. There we go. And that'll spin the millstone. Perfect. Okay, so that'll input from that side, output to there. The sugar should go into there. The pot should stay inside there. Uh, strawberry should be coming out into there. So then all I actually need is the entangled chest on this side. Which, let me see, so that. Uh, I'll put one more, I think. So then entangled chest with an output. That'll push that into there. Turn to sugar. Push into there. Turn to jam. Cool. Alright, so now we need the two entangled chests. And he's dead again. <laughs> He always dying. Uh, okay, so entangle chests. Do I have more? I have more ender pearls. Okay, so we got some more of these. I don't have too many more. I'm gonna have to stock up at some point here. Oop. Okay, and then. Let's see, got that, and then do I have any more brick? I do. Around that, boop, boop. Put those in the corners, put the brick on top, get the gold block there, perfect. Oh, I need two though. Um, I do have enough for another one, good. Okay, do that, or oh, I just have enough. Gonna have to stock up. There. Okay, now we're gonna have to color code them. Would you talk via chat, please? I'm learning English, and if we're not meeting in real life, I don't understand much of what you're going to say. Um. That's hard. <laughs> you mean, like, actually type it? No, that's, that's gonna be really difficult. <laughs> I mean, I would like to help, but that's gonna be, like hard to actually type type you know type and play let me see I need to go get my runes up top yeah typing while playing would be really difficult Um, let me see. So I need... What did I need? Oh yeah, my runes. I always forget what I'm doing. What dyes do I have? Let's do... Do I have green? Can you make green? Do I have like a green flower? <laughs> what? Okay. Um, let me see. What does this do? Lock an item. Interesting. Where... Okay, there's my flowers. Do I have any green ones here? I've got lime. I guess that works. Let's use lime. Sure. We'll do that, and then if I get Bhutan... Down. There we go. Around like that. Throw that in there. Take a bunch of those. Cool. And then that. Let's see, what do I want to... Are you outlaw seed? Alright. I'll see you sometime, maybe. <laughs> Alright. Or not. That's fine. <laughs> oh, 
All right. That should be something in here, right? Okay, yeah. All right, so then we put these away because that's good now. Where did that go? Okay, so I've got those there. So let's go attach the. Um, I'm trying the, uh, not sugar. The sugar cane reeds. What are they called now? <laughs> are they called reeds or sugar cane? I can't remember anymore. I come from an old age. I'm an old man with Minecraft, man. I don't know what's what. Oh, I ran out of food. Well, good thing I'm making food, huh? Okay, so let's see. Let's put, um, let's put on this side. Oh wait, I need to put a chest first. You make a chest, and then that with the iron. Um, and then it's here. There. That should be going in there now. Up off this, that, these things. Okay. Um, and that should have sugarcane. Perfect. Okay, so the sugar cane's going in there slowly. I don't know how I'd make it go faster. Maybe a shoot would have been better. I don't know. It's fine. It doesn't have to go that fast. And then entangle chest, the other one over here, and then that should be it. And then I just have to uh, supply it with more strawberry seeds in this field. That should be coming out there right now. Drop this onto here. Boom. Um, don't have another thing. Dump that. Cool. Boop. There we go. And that should be ground up into sugar. Nice. It's going in there. Oh, I forgot to build the mixer. <laughs> That's kind of important. Well, whatever. It's fine. At least I. Realize that went in there. Huh. Probably not a good thing. Did I get the block? I did. Okay. Eat the toast. Fine. <laughs> I needed to eat anyway. Whoops. I don't like that you can just place it down sometimes. I think the same thing happened here. Did a block go in there? Uh, yes, yeah, so I got all the strawberries. Let's go put those back in the chest over here. Oh, it's not even a chest. That's right. It just comes out. Oh, that might be... Oh, nah, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> you go that way. Uh, okay, so that's doing that. So now I need two mixers. How do I make the mixers? Mechanical mixer. All right, I need a whisk. Uh, so I'm going to need an iron. More there, smash that down, put the end site in the middle. And then actually build the mixer itself. Hook those up and then that's done. And then that's done. And we'll finally have toast with jam. I'm actually kind of surprised I got as far as I did in the, uh, under three hours <laughs> that I've been streaming. I really thought I would complete like none of this. So it's a little gear with the casing. I don't have my casing, so I even have the gears. 
Two of those. Um, what was it? Okay, that's in the middle. And then shaft with wood. So it's like that with that, and then... Oh wait, the whisk. Right, I need to do that first. So it's like that, and that, perfect, and that, and that, bam, two of those, cool, go hook those up, oh, and they're gear ones, okay, does that make this better or worse, I don't know, I'm about to figure out how to hook these things up, Okay, let's open the ceiling. That's fine. <laughs> uh, how am I going to hook this up, actually? I suppose I could somehow hook it up to... Hmm. I'm not sure. <laughs> I put a gear there, the shaft goes down. Um, it's probably gonna be a small gear. No, I could probably put a big gear on that, right? Probably have to go in the corner, but I could probably put it. And then rotate that in a certain way and then belt it, probably. So that does work. Okay, so that attaches there. Let's make a couple of big gears. I see a couple of... I need a bunch of wood. Uh, let me get more shafts. Let's just make... Oops. The rest of these shafts. Do a couple of these. So then this will go... That way, I suppose. Okay. Um. I could connect this one to that. Our gear is right there. Small gear. If I. Come on. Sometimes it doesn't want to show where it can go. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. There we go. Uh, that would work, right? Yeah. There we go. That is connected there. Connected on this side. There are other gears around it, so this might be better. This might be easier. One can only hope. Damn it, did I go in there again? Yeah. Yeah. Did that go inside? I hope so. I think it did. Can't quite see in there though. <laughs> I hope that went in there. I don't know where else it would have gone. There we go. Um, and then the mixer. Okay. Ha! Grabbing me. if I just do it on this side ah I'm getting confused I'm gonna walk on the belts Did that go in there again I really hope it didn't <laughs> I don't know it might still work if there's a block in there maybe can't see inside though stuck here Let me up. Let me up. <laughs> That's not quite a block. I can't go up. Um. Eh. Me. Let's see. Up inside it. I don't see a stone in there. I don't want stones in my jam.
Unless I got stuck on the conveyor belt and went down there. Again? I hope not. Okay. As long as I hear the little pickup sound, it's okay. Alright, so then... Uh, just connect it here. And then... How am I going to... Do that. That. That's gonna turn real slow, isn't it? I guess it's... Do it. I don't know. Yeah, that's slowing it down. I mean, it works. <laughs> it's just real slow. Um... Oh, I know. If I put the gear on this side, that should work. There we go. That's better. That's a better speed. There we go. Jam! We have jam! It's working! It's working! Jam's going. Jam's going. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, it's jam and toast! Oh, we got jam and toast! Huzzah! I did it. I can't even eat it. But I did it! <laughs> hey, I actually finished it. That's cool. We got jam and toast now. Lovely. I just gotta finish that out a little bit more because this is gonna run out now. <laughs> but yeah, that's cool. So we got the sugar coming in there. And then as the strawberries come in, it'll make jam and toast. Which will be much better than regular. Regular toast. How great. Oh, that's actually really good. That's cool. Got to uh, fill this out some more. As this goes, it'll, you know, multiply out the seeds. Until this field is full, and then I'll have to put another entangled chest here that goes out to my uh, composter. Which I feel like that's getting full. Because all my seeds from, like, that farm and, like, that farm are going out. Actually, no, that one's not. But that farm is going out to a composter. <laughs> so. Oh, actually, and my other, my tree farm is going out there, too. I bet that composter is pretty full. Let's go check that out. Um, Might as well, like, dump this off. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Cool, so I actually finished, like, what I wanted to do. That's pretty nice, actually. Got my farm going. There's a couple of things I need to take care of, but it's not, like, a big deal. It, like, you know, filling this out pretty much. Um, and then extending out my steam engine. But that's just doing the same thing. I do need to make that mechanical... Uh, no, the precision thingy. I need to make that automated, and I need to do the kelp farm. Probably do that on my own, but uh, yeah, I got most of the stuff that I wanted to get done done, which is nice. You know, it's a good feeling when you actually make the things. I forgot I had some more strawberries and stuff on me. That's fine. I'll window that in later. Oh, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Cool. Um, and then I know I do this a lot, but why did I come up here again? <laughs> what did I come up here for? I did the, the, the toast. God, I'm so... I swear, I've got such, a, like, the worst short memory. Because I'll, I'll start... Like, I'll think I have to do something. And then I'll start in the conversation. And then my, my memory is wiped. <laughs> um... I don't... Remember why I came up here. I swear, it's that thing where you, like, walk into the other room... And you're like, why did I wa why did I come in this room? <laughs> what am I doing here? I don't know. Yeah, I have n I don't remember what I was doing. 
<laughs> I finished the toast thing. Um, I think I must have just come up here to like clear my inventory. Probably, because I got the toast. Um, <laughs> did the jam? Uh, strawberry seeds. Um, steam engine, precision. I think that's it. <laughs> I don't actually remember why I came up here. I don't think there was a reason. I think I just came up here. Oh, that's right. No, I want to check the composter. God, I'm such a, such a scatterbrain. Oh, God. Okay, so not full, but getting there. Hmm. That's not too bad. I wonder if you can, like, compress this down? Like, can you do something with these? I don't know. Like, can I, like, compress this into, like, a six? Okay, yeah, you can't make bone blocks. Okay, so maybe... Maybe I just bone block all this. Because I can compress it down. Oop, bone block. Does that turn back into... It does. Okay, so I can just, like, compress all this down. And then that's fine. I can actually do that automatically, too. I suppose. Put it all into a compressor, get bone blocks. Kind of how I have the, uh, the charcoal thing. But then, I don't know. I'd have to either set up some sort of rotational thing up here, or another entangled chest set up. I don't know if I want to keep doing that, though. Just to compress everything. But it would be better than just having all the, uh, bone meal just hanging out in here. So I guess if I just come up here occasionally, I can compress it down to bone blocks. Can the bone blocks compress down? Some of this stuff actually can. Oseus block? What? Now does that turn back? That doesn't. Okay, so that is... That is now permanently like that. So I'm not gonna do that. But, at least there's a use for them. So I can make, like, bone-themed blocks using that. <laughs> Which would be cool. You know, I'll just make bone blocks and then, uh... I can make bone-themed other blocks if I need them. That's pretty much it. I think I'm done. I think I'm good. This is, you know, a nice little... I knew it was gonna be a shorter stream. I mean, if you consider three hours to be short, it is a shorter stream. Uh... That was good. So I got that done. Team engine finished. Nice. Um... The toast farm, or the toast with jam farm, done. Nice. Um... And then, yeah. I guess that was that. That's... that is it. Oh, this is finally not doing copper. No, it's still doing copper. So much copper. Actually, I still have more. You wanna see something crazy? Like, there was all that copper. And I, I'm pretty sure there's still more down here. I don't think I grabbed it all. <laughs> I think there's still more down here that I need to get, even. Oh, uh, man. Yeah, so I need to build my kelp farm, too. That'll be easy enough, I think. You hop out of the Discord. Um, done with that. Um, there's still so much. <laughs> there's still so much copper. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I'm telling you, like... The drill just gives you so much. I just ran through the the, the level. I think it's like Y45-ish, that sort of area. Between like 40 and 45, I think. And then I just like dug out like huge swaths <laughs> with the drill. And I came back, ground up all the copper, and I had twice as much copper. I think I came back with like a thousand and like one and a half thousand uh, blocks of copper. Which then became like 3,000 copper. A lot. <laughs> so, it's all being smelted. Too bad this thing doesn't actually go any faster, but whatever. Like, it's automatic, you know? And I could do anything in here. I, like, I could put a blast furnace and be faster, but 
you know, that's then it would only be able to do like ores. And this is really the only time I've had to do this much. <laughs> so, I mean, I can do another one, I guess. I can do like a blast furnace. But I like that it automatically outputs like this. It's nice. You know? I can do it with funnel, not funnels, oh, with Yeah, funnels. What whatever they're called, I don't know. <laughs> now I've got the creates one stuck in my head. You know what I'm talking about. I could have it output with the other thingies. Like the, the legit like the normal vanilla way, but I don't want to. Cuz I like that. Um Yeah, I guess that's that. I guess we're done for now. I'm going to go work in the other farms. Uh I got to get dinner prepared. Uh and then that's it. Yeah, we're done. We done so. We did it. We did it. We did it. Yay! Yeah, we did it. So I don't know when the next stream will be. I've got some other stuff to work on. Um, Zuma Watch, thank you. Yeah, I uh, I want to be on more this week, but I'm not sure. <laughs> no promises, you know. Um, because so this weekend is my anniversary with my wife. It's been 13 years, <laughs> sort of. We. We call it 13 years. Technically, we were dating for 10 and then we were married for three. But we like to add it up because we got married on our date anniversary. So it's like the, we just say the numbers kept going. <laughs> so we're like, it's been 13 years, you know. <laughs> I like to joke. I'm like, yeah, we got married in high school, you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's our anniversary. So we'll be out uh, pretty much the whole weekend. Uh, so... Like, I might stream tomorrow, but then Thursday through Monday, we're definitely going to be gone. Uh, I mean, we might hop on in the afternoons for something, maybe. I'm not sure. Again, no promises. Um, and then next week, maybe more streams. Stuff's, stuff's starting to, to happen with uh, the business that I'm working for with. So it's like, schedule's up in the air. <laughs> I know I've been pretty consistent up to this point, but schedule's up in the air. So just, you know, hold on tight, hit follow or something for notifications, and then you'll know. Because I usually stream for a good amount of time anyway, so if you see the notification, I'm probably on for most of the day. Unlike today. Yeah. That's that. Okay. Uh, so, stream over. I will see you all whenever the next stream is. Hopefully tomorrow. I'll see. I'll have to see, you know, what's going on. But it's possible. All righty then, I'll see you later. Have a good one. All right, bye stream.